It was DNA that finally confirmed to law enforcement that the young girl found in Caledonia was actually Tammy Jo Alexander from Florida. That DNA came from Tammy Jo's sister. Time Warner Cable News reporter Christina Dominguez has family reaction from our newsroom tonight. Christina. Well, Casey, Pamela Dyson says that she was only a child when her sister Tammy Jo Alexander went missing. She says she never imagined that more than three decades later it would be her DNA that would help finally solve at least a piece of this case. The Hernando County Sheriff's Department in Florida said Tammy went missing from Brooksville, Florida between 1977 and 1979. Investigators tracked down Pamela living in Panama City, who confirmed her half-sister Tammy had gone missing in the late 70s. Pamela said that she assumed her mother and her stepfather at the time had reported it. The sheriff's office said no one ever had. Pamela says that she and Tammy grew up in the same house until Pamela went to live with her grandmother and the two lost touch. In August, she says detectives called her asking for her DNA to add to a database to see if she was a match to any Jane Doe. Well, just today, she received official confirmation that Caledonia Jane Doe was her sister, Tammy. Very In a proud. statement, Pamela told me she's grateful to the Livingston County Sheriff's Office for never giving up and Tammy's friend Laurel, who finally reported Tammy missing. She also said, quote, we are grateful to have closure after 35 years, and I would like to thank everybody who's been involved and worked on this case. My sister was a vibrant, beautiful young woman. And Casey, Pamela told me that she does have plans when the weather gets a little better to travel up here to New York. She'd like to visit her sister's gravesite, uh, and she says that she'd like to have their own services for her. Casey? Certainly long-awaited news from that family. Time Warner Cable News yeah. reporter Christina Dominguez in our newsroom tonight.